Um, I'd like to talk about my uh, teacher, Howard Swartz. Uh, I was a senior in college in the University of Missouri-St. Louis as a business major. And on, sort of on a whim, I decided to take a poetry writing course or an intro to creative writing um, with Howard Schwartz. Uh, I thought it would be a good balance against the other courses I was taking, like business statistics. But it really changed my life. Um, Howard Schwartz was a very enthusiastic teacher. And plus, he was teaching very contemporary poetry, which I don't think at that time I really even understood existed. He taught from uh, Theodore Rethke's Collected Poems, James Wright's breakout book, The Branch Will Not Break, uh, and, the, and an anthology called Naked Poetry, which was primarily post-war, late 20th century free verse poets like Denise Levertov, Philip Levine, and uh, W.S. Merwin. Anyway, what it, what it taught me was that poetry was an active art form today, engaged in the world in which we live, in our times, in the things we do. I think before uh, Howard Swartz, I had this idea of poetry as being highly stylized writing and sort of a vaguely antique art form. But this brought me really into contemporary poetry. And at that point, plus he encouraged my, some of my poems, I became absolutely obsessed with poetry. Not so much obsessed that I quit business school. I went on and got an MBA in, in uh, finance, but uh, enough to change the course of my life in a very good way and to give me really a second, second calling. Um, there's kind of a funny story though, later on in life, I went to a bar mitzvah and in the program was printed a poem. Uh, I was taken by this poem, but I didn't, it, there was no attribution, there was no title to it, there was no author's name. So I carried this thing around and it was the early days of the internet and nothing was coming up to match it. Um, about 20 years later, I, on a whim, I googled the poem again and it turns out the poem was by my teacher mentor, Howard Schwartz, and it was called um, Our Angels, and it was de uh, dedicated to Yehuda Amakai. So I thought I'd close with Howard Schwartz's poem, Our Angels, for Yehuda Amakai. Our angels spend too much of their time sleeping. In their dreams, they tear down the new houses by the sea and build old ones in their place. No matter how long they may sleep, 100, 200 years, 10 centuries is not too much. The first to wake up takes the torch that has been handed down, adds a drop of oil to the lamp, blesses the eternal light, and then recalls the name of every other angel. And one by one, they are remembered. They wake up. For them, as for us, there is nothing more beautiful than memory. Poem by Howard Schwartz, Our Angels.